So without further ado, uh, Mira Haridasa speaking to us about AI development with VS Code for the web. Give her a round of applause. Um, thank you and uh, welcome everyone. My name is Mira and I'm a product manager on the Azure Developer Tools team. And today we're thrilled to announce the public preview of VS Code for the web Azure. So modern development oftentimes spans APIs, SDKs, and data models. And oftentimes this is ready. This is before you're re fully ready to commit to a framework, write tests, or provision infrastructure. As these ecosystems grow more complex, the need for safe and lightweight environments to validate ideas is becoming even more essential. And that's exactly where Slash Azure shines. We're delivering a zero install, zero setup environment that's ready to go in seconds. We have integrated tools like GitHub Copilot, the Azure Developer CLI, and Azure Extensions. And Slash Azure makes building proof of concepts significantly faster and easier, critical in a world where speed is everything. So for today's demo, I'm gonna give you an overview of Slash Azure um, and then go into a live demo and then we'll um, get any questions, comments, or feedback from all of you. So VS Code for the web Azure. Yes, it is a bit of a mouthful. So for today's session, and as I've been doing, I'm gonna to refer to the product simply as Slash Azure, which is named after the URL where you can access it at. So Slash Azure is a one-stop shop for developing, debugging, and deploying applications to Azure, all from your browser within seconds. There's no need to install packages or manage dependencies. That means faster development and fewer setup headaches. We've heard from developers like you that spinning up environments to test a proof of concept can take hours and oftentimes results in inconsistent outcomes. Slash Azure was built to solve that. It's built on top of VS Code for the web, but is integrated with Azure Cloud Shell to unlock the run, debug, and deploy scenarios for you. And the experience is nearly one-to-one -one with VS Code Desktop, but it's lighter, faster, and dramatically reduces the time to deploy. What used to take you 15 minutes or more to create a proof of concept can now be done under one. So now that you know a little bit about Slash Azure, we wanted to give you um, some scenarios that you could use in your day-to-day -day flow to develop with the environment. So Slash Azure, for example, allows you to run code snippets directly from Microsoft Docs. There's probably been times where you've seen code snippets in a Docs page, but you had to take that over to your desktop app, set up the environment, run into many errors along the way, and maybe gave up. But now you can actually take that code snippet, bring it over and run it, no installation necessary. The other thing we have is a really tight integration with the Azure portal. So you can monitor, monitor and manage your existing Azure resources all in one place. There's no need to move back and forth between the desktop app and the Azure portal. We also have a very tight integration with GitHub in general and GitHub repositories. So via the GitHub PR extension, you can actually commit and create PRs directly within the browser without leaving your editor. And lastly, deploying applications. We know sometimes deploying applications to Azure can be extremely cumbersome and kind of confusing. So we've made that extremely streamlined with a built-in Azure Developer CLI that you can use ready to go. So now that you know a little bit about this overview of the scenarios that you can do in Slash Azure, there are some services that we've partnered with as a part of this public preview. So one of them being the Azure AI Foundry. So we've enabled an open in VS Code button in the Foundry where you can import your project directly into Slash Azure, fine tune your model, and interact with your AI agent all within minutes. Alongside this, we also have integration with the AI App Gallery, where you can start from a template, click on Open in VS Code, and actually bring that entire template over, run AZD up, and there you go, you have a template running in Azure all within one click. So now that we've gone through an overview of what the Microsoft products are, I'm gonna give a deep dive into a demo um, where I'm gonna be a Python developer, and I'm looking to build an AI agent using the Azure AI Foundry. My goal is to test the agent, integrate it into a web app, and deploy the app to Azure. Now, this would be a pretty complex uh, demo um, if I was doing this without Slash Azure, but we're gonna do this in a very streamlined way. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Azure AI Foundry where I have all of my projects that have been set up for me. If I was coming here brand new, I would click on create new and start a new project. But today, since we only have 15 minutes, I'm gonna use a existing project that I had already created. 
So when I click on this, it's gonna take me over to my overview page where I have my API key, an endpoint, and subscription ID that I'm actually gonna use for deployment. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the playgrounds where I'm greeted with all the different playgrounds that I can create with. But today I'm interested in building an agent. So let's click on that. This is gonna load the agent's playground for me. And here I have selected GPT 4.1, which we're gonna be using for our agent. So let's ask it a quick hello to make sure that my agent is responding the way I want it to. And there we go. We have a hello, how can I help you today? Very simple response from my hello request. But I think we wanna make things a little more interesting. So I'm gonna ask the agent to speak in a pirate tone. So let's do that. And let's re-ask the agent hello and see what it responds back. So that is clearly a pirate tone like hello response. So now that I have this kind of funky app or agent, I actually want to take this and integrate it into a web application. And I may want to share that with some colleagues. So what I'm going to do is go over to view code. And here I can see my um, resource ID, the endpoint that I'm going to use to actually bring this over to VS Code. And I'm going to click on Open in VS Code. So when I do that, this is actually going to initialize the slash Azure environment, where we're going to start Azure Cloud Shell, connect to the container, and then install all the dependencies that are necessary to actually bring the code over from Foundry to the environment. And this is all being done within one click. And there you go. We have all of our code that has been brought over from the Azure AI Foundry. And I, can, I see on my left-hand side that I have all the files necessary to actually run this agent. So now that I see it here, I actually wanna make sure that it's running the way I want it to. So let's actually run this Python file to see if I'm getting the same chat history that I saw in the Azure AI Foundry. And there you go. We have our entire chat history that the, that we brought over from the Foundry. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to my instructions and I see that the next step that I wanna do is actually take this agent and integrate it into a web app. So to do that, um, we have the Azure Developer CLI that's built into the environment and I'm gonna run this azd init command that is going to initialize a template that uses this agent. So when I run this, it's gonna download the template code, I'm gonna overwrite and Boom, on the left-hand side, you can see all the files that have been brought in for me. I have my readme, I have my Python file, I have my .github folder, which is used for CI CD, and the azure.yaml file. So this all looks great. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and kick off the azd up, which is going to provision and deploy this web app. So while that's running, I'm gonna give you a little bit more of an overview of what the environment has to offer. So on the left-hand side, you can see this button. This is actually our Azure AI Foundry extension where you can see your models and your agents that you, were, you used in Foundry itself. So here I see my GPT 4.1. I have both agents that I used um, in my subscription, that I have in my subscription. Um, the next thing I have is my Azure pane where I can actually see all of my Azure resources and the workspace that I am working in right now, which is the AZD Get Started Agent Template. So I can actually manage and monitor all of my resources all within one editor. Next we have our extensions. So uh, I know a lot of people love to use VS Code extensions. This environment is nearly one-to-one -one with VS Code Desktop, so you can download any extensions and install them in this environment as you would in VS Code Desktop. Here I see I have this, um, I have GitHub Copilot. So what I'm gonna do is actually ask GitHub Copilot um, a little bit about my Python file to see what response it's gonna give back to me. So GitHub Copilot is actually going to give me a response back while that's working. Let's move on over to the source control view. So this is where I was talking about the tight integration with GitHub. You can actually commit all your code within one place and create repositories, create pull requests, and not really have to leave the browser. 
So now you can see GitHub Copilot gave me a really good rundown of what my agent file is doing. Now, we kind of know what this Python file is doing, but you can imagine if you had a colleague that sent you any kind of code and you didn't really know what was going on, you could bring it to this environment and just ask Copilot, hey, what does this do? And it would give you a great rundown of actually what is going on. So while this um, file is actually taking some time to load, I um, preloaded one that is already deployed. So let's go ahead and look at this application to see um, if the web app is like up and running and whether it's giving me a response that I want. So let's ask it, hello. And there you go. We have a web application that is using the AI agent in the pirate tone that I had uh, predetermined in the Agents Playground in Azure AI Foundry. So there you go. We have a end-to-end -end complete with creating an agent, testing that agent, moving it over to VS Code, hooking that up to a web application, and deploying it to Azure. And this was all done in an extremely streamlined way. There was no setup, no installation necessary, and I'm ready to go with my development. So we're bringing you closer to code and paving the path for frictionless and smooth development. And it's never been easier to do AI development with slash Azure. So please check out the product at insiders.bscode.dev slash Azure. Thank you.